Good morning doll people. This is Vita Plastica and I'm here to give you a quick room tour and just give you some updates on my doll situation. Um, let's see. First we have our closet here. I just have some Barbie stuff that's for sale and some orders that need to go out and the filing cabinets like bills and old journals and stuff. More like Barbie bodies to be dealt with. And then out here, I have a million containers that are empty because I have a, a problem. I have a problem with containers. It's okay. I, I admit that. It's the first step. Here we have Sunny's little space. Um, this is just like a couple of doll boxes and a blouse sitting on top of it. She, I'm having a chair custom made by um, one of my Barbie friends in exchange for some of my Barbie stuff. She's making me a great big chair so Sunny can sit and do her reading. Sunny's in one of her dark moods, and she usually wears this wig, but we're going outside to take pictures, and I'd rather deal with the short one today. So here we just have, like, a... I guess she has a thing for birds. I, I myself do not have a thing for birds, but it seems like the stuff I get seems to just have birds on it, like this crazy dark mirror. It really is dark. It's not the lighting. It's... It's, I don't know what's up with the quality of this mirror, but I thought it was spooky and cool and looked like an antique, so got that from my friend's yard sale. Anyway, we've got some little photos of Ger Germany that I got at a thrift store. I don't know why I got them, but they're a really good size for her um, and a plant I made for Barbies ages ago. So that's Sunny's little space. I was thinking about painting this blue, but my husband thinks it's probably a bad idea. So I might build a fence instead, so it looks like she's sort of in the patio space in her garden or something. Let's see. Here we have a little resting spot for the kids to come and sit while I'm doing some doll work. And um, it's a trunk that I got at Marshall's. It smells really good. Uh, it's hard to see in there, but we've got um, some furniture and stuff for SD size, and, and their BJDs live in here too. Speaking of... MSD size. Did I say that? Anyway, speaking of which, I'm working on their face-ups. Yeah, it's not great. Um, and I'm working on face-up for my recast mini fee, Rhea, who is named Gemma. A word about recasts. Uh, I support the artist, um, but it's kind of like a, a puppy mill. You might get a puppy secondhand from someone who got it from a puppy mill, but it's still a puppy and it still needs love. So I got her second hand to be my practice doll, and she's already taught me a lot, and I probably connected more with her than I have with Sunny. So I don't plan on buying a recast in the future, but it's not completely out of the question. I wouldn't buy from a recaster, but second hand, I just might. So anyway, here's my workspace, and here will be like sort of my shipping area for my Barbie stuff, sewing box, and uh, you know, tools like hot glue gun and whatnot, pliers, um, yada, yada, yada. And so here, we're going to talk about Eden in just one second. Do, 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 gorillas, floating star. Keely Sum, Dalmore Keely Sum is going to be my main character. Um, right now her working name is Eden, but I think I'm leaning towards Kala. I think that's a nice name. That means life in Sanskrit. I didn't know that. I just like the name. Um, so I might do something else in Sanskrit. We'll see. Anyway, this is my computer space. And there's this painting. I got this homeless kid in Little Five Point, which is sort of like uh, the Greenwich Village of Atlanta, where it was. Um, I always love that painting. Anyway, so Eden. Um, she is a Neolithic woman, and her entire village has been destroyed, probably by a volcano or maybe a landslide or avalanche. So she strikes out on her own. She's a, a hunter, a warrior, and an herbalist. So she can do quite well on her own, but everyone needs other people uh, sometimes. So she kind of heads to this forest where there's sort of anthropomorphic creatures that have um, that have been living there, you know, for millions of years and uh, really don't contact humans, but I don't know, for some reason they take pity on her or something. I haven't figured all that out yet. But so she begins begins her own her own tribe and then you'll see how um, how she'll develop. Um, and each tribe's person that comes in will bring something new, like 
pottery and color to go with all these earth tones. So I just got these baskets on Etsy. They're um, nesting baskets. They all go into each other. But as you can see, they are pretty small for gathering and storing for winter. So I'll be getting some more and then, you know, this will just hold smaller grains. This might be a drinking basket. Um, I found this cute little, I think it's called an ipu. Um, it's a, I got it from a Hawaiian woman in Brooklyn. Um, she's awesome. She opened her store for me so I could open, so I could buy one more that's a, a bit bigger. Um, before she goes on vacation. So that was very sweet of her. There's just some, um, like wooden beads and stuff that I've, I don't know, I have a whole box of broken jewelry and I just keep it for years and years and I don't know why. We've got some feathers that came from, um, a dream catcher. Maybe I'll, I'll affix them into her hair, into Kala's hair. Got some pleather. I hope the lighting is okay in here. How's that? That's better. That's better. That's better. Okay, so I've got some pleather here. Hopefully I'll make her an outfit out of that. And some burlap, which I might actually end up making a basket with that to sort of soak it in um, Elmer's glue and water and shape it around something with like a rounded bottom. And it's a basket. I should have done that instead of spending a million dollars in baskets. Um, just some, some jute, some twine. And um, got this little leather and fur pouch that I guess she'll I don't know, carry around her little treasures in or something. Some meats, I don't know. I, I think this came in a drink. I didn't get that. But um, I just thought it was a cute little like baby spear. So I'll keep that. And I went to the Renaissance Fair last weekend purely to find the fur pelt guy so I could get myself a little rabbit pelt, which might actually just end up being a, a cloak or maybe a bed covering. We'll see. And I told my mom about this idea, and so when she was out at the fabric store, she got me this fake fur, which I like because it's got different patterns in it, so I could almost like just stitch it here and make it look like several different animals have been put together. This I'm not sure is, you know, would be accurate of the time, but it is all kind of put together naturally, and it's, you know, really rough, and I don't see why an early human couldn't come up with a box idea. Seems pretty normal to me. I've got a djembe drum, which is a little, a little off scale, but still looks pretty cool. That may be for once I get my Impel doll Chad, the um, goat man. Maybe it'll be his because he's a bit taller. This used to hold fruit, I think. Something. I don't remember. Wine? I don't know. But it's like a bag and I was going to make it into a, a hammock for Barbie, but... I never got around to it, so maybe it'll be like a fishing net or something. We'll see. Maybe we can make it like a swinging chair out of it. I don't know. And some rocks. And this is my mortar and pestle. Um, and it's not exactly what you would see, you know, in a Neolithic household. But it's sort of my placeholder, my reminder to either buy one or make one. Because back then they actually did have this little standing lip, which I think is pretty cool that uh, humans have been making the same kind of thing for like 30,000 years, 50, I don't know, whatever. Neolithic, that's actually not, whatever. It's about 5,000 BC is when she's living. That's what I decided. It could be earlier because there's some things I don't want her to have yet, but whatever, we'll, we'll talk about it later. Um, my mom's last trip to Haiti, she got me this bag full of these shells. So the girls helped me pick out the prettiest one. And then I, glad, I'm so glad I kept this bag, which is really more of a throwaway. Um, because then I can just flatten this out and these can be her floor mats. Um, so that you're not sitting on the dirt floor. And maybe even sort of uh, go under her bed, under her furs or whatever. Um, and then I'm, I'm actually gathering some more stuff that's out in the sunroom. Um, and so... Yeah, I think I'm going to try to make some shoes, but I'm going to start with Sunny. Sunny's going to be my guinea pig so that I can uh, see if I can make this work. Oh, underneath we have more of Eden stuff that's not going to work out. Some lights, shipping, doodads. This is where I keep um, the BJD supplies. See, I don't have much now. Just strings and 